You're welcome. I believe we have a caller already. We are going to go to the caller. This is Judge Love. And I accidentally hung up the phone. Sorry about that. All right, moving on. Come on, guys, come on. Settle down. Okay, if you want to call in the show with your dating and relationship questions, call in. 470-251-4343. Again, this is Judge Love, and I did not mean to hang up on that person, but hey, we're going to do better next time. So, let's talk. Today, yes. we are going to start with a war story from oh. one of my good friends. Yes, right, it's a go. war story. Hey! Hey! Listen, this happens in dating. You get war stories. It's not always that happy marriage that everybody dreams about. All right, so in the war story, here's what happens. The guy reaches out to the woman. He says, hey, oh, we have a caller. Caller, you are live. This is Judge Love. Please state your name or alias for the courtroom. Yeah, this is Jimmy Lafito, and uh, I wanted to ask Dr. Love a quick question as I'm, uh, I may need to hang up because of my reception, but is it better to get to know people uh, in groups and going out as in groups rather than dating one-on-one -on -one at first? What do you think about that? That's a great question, Mr. Jimmy. I think you need to spend one-on-one -on -one time for at least six to 12 dates before they even think about meeting family members or groups and anything because there are a lot of people out there called blockers and they don't want your best interest at hand. They want you to fail or they don't care. So I think it's best if the girl you intend to marry or date or whatever goes out with strictly you on one-on-one -on -one dates. Uh -huh. So on that note, you think it's okay to do, at what point uh, do you do you give up the stealth dating? If you know what I mean, where like you know you're not you don't want your friends to know because you have mutual friends, and so you do the stealth dating thing. But at what point do you come out and say, yeah, we're we're an item now? You know what I mean? I did you have an answer, Miss Mika? That's definitely at exclusivity. Okay, so at exclusivity, personally, I recommend six months of dating somebody before you bring it out to your friends or family. At that point. So yeah, yeah, I would do. I would say okay. six months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Doctor Love. All I'll, right. Uh, hey. I'll, I'll, yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Mr. Jimmy. Great talking to you. Talk to you next week. Case All dismissed. Right. Good. Case dismissed. Thank you. Yeah. First caller. Four to six months. Four to six months, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know that's funny because I said six months, and, and now our viewers are confused because. Some people think it's four to six months, well, and I, I thought I said six it months. It's four to six months. Well, it's okay to disagree, folks. Now, we are going to go ahead back, and again, the, please call in. We're going to go back to uh, our war story of the day here. So, this guy reaches out to a woman, and he uses my line, which was a good move. He says, let's meet for an hour over coffee this week so I can make you laugh with my bad jokes. And the woman responds, you already made me laugh. So it sounds good so far. Then she throws, uh, this week is not a good week for me, comma, but I'm always open to coffee. Now, okay, folks, folks, please. Now, Miss Mika, I want you to take this apart. Okay, now, question. Let me, let, me, sure. let me go back here. So she said not that she wouldn't go out for coffee, so she's going to do it. It just won't be this week. Is yeah, that right? That's, okay, so let's read again what she said. Her response was, you already made me laugh. Mm -hmm. This week is not a good week, but I'm always open to coffee. So you think her response is a positive nature? I think that's a little bit vague. I think it can be read either way. I think it can be as either, you know what, I'm trying to put you down nicely and maybe, you know, put you off Let next week when you ask when I may be free. You know, it could be that. Or maybe she's busy. Maybe she's got, you know, friends, family, whatever coming in from out of town this week. I got two words for you. Ah, but before those All two words, that. we are going to take the call. 
This is Judge Love in the Court of Love. Please state your name or alias for the record. Hey, Judge Love, this is Daniel. Hey! And hey. <laughs> Danny boy, what's hey. going on, man? Hey, hey, so I had a quick question for you, just your opinion on, uh, what's your view on social media? Like, how many profiles should a man have, or how, many pro how few profiles should he have? You just give us a brief overview on that, Your Honor. Absolutely, absolutely, but so social media is tricky because, especially when you haven't met somebody yet, if you have too much stuff out there, let's say you have a picture of you with two women, one on each side, and you're holding a beer, and a girl sees that and she says, oh, well, I'm not gonna go out with this guy. In reality, th those are your sisters, right? So I think things can be easily misconstrued on uh, social media. Uh, if you're using it for business purposes, it's a little different, I think. But in terms of dating, you really want the less you have out there, the better, because that way you can explain yourself in public. But when, when a girl sees you with two girls on the side, it's kind of hard, and most likely she's going to cancel the date. So I would say the less you have on social media, the, the better. Yes, and uh, I guess on that track, would you uh, friend, you know, if you get together and... You know, she has to be your Facebook friend. Would you go and friend without reservation, or would you? Because I mean, that could open up a whole can of worms. Because yeah. I remember uh, one of my friends. They, uh, you know, they Facebook friends when they first uh, met their girlfriend and such. But then uh, <laughs> after the relationship was over, the parents of my friend are still friends with that ex, and so they were texting that ex back and forth. So it's just like, oh, wow. you know, it's really got to be careful. You really got to be careful on. Uh, that's what I was kind of wondering in terms of, uh, like, if you should have, you know how you have the option on Facebook of you can add friend or not, whether you should have your settings set to private rather than uh, mm -hmm. so anyone can discover you. You know what? I think that's a great move to just have it private right away. Absolutely. And that way it won't even come up. Like, you, can't, you don't even have that option. But if she does want to add you... I say the later she adds you, the better. If you can get those terms of exclusivity at that point, and then you know that's a milestone uh, to add her on Facebook. But otherwise, I think making it a private uh, private account would be a great move. So, what do you, what do you think, Miss Pika? Okay, I totally agree. Okay. I'm great. I, I wouldn't want thanks, somebody to be my friend. All right, thanks so much for the call, buddy. Talk to you next week. Oh, yeah. All right. Very good. Thank you guys so much for the call. Now. I lost my train of thought. I didn't. So, on this, uh, the we, you know, the the dating. The dating. Oh, we're back. Um, so we said uh, the girl said. Oh, oh yeah. I yeah. said two words. Two words about this girl that says, "You already made me laugh. This week is not a good week, but I'm always open to coffee." Uh -huh. Mixed signals. And what does mixed signals mean to you, Miss Mika? What do you think it means? I have three words that mixed signals means. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, you what. So, mixed signals, and I think that's exactly what this is. I just think we're saying it on different terms. But you're absolutely right. It's, you know, she's saying she's available uh, later, just not this week. Like I said previously, maybe she does have friends or family coming in, in this week. And she can't meet with you this week, but she's okay for next week. Or maybe I, this person just doesn't like you at all and just doesn't know how to say it because you're such a nice guy. Exactly. So she wants to let you down easily, she perhaps. She wants to let you down easy. Or she wants to put it off. Maybe, you know, because I'm, I'm guilty of giving somebody a chance even Ooh. after I know. This is just, it's not going anywhere. It's like, come on, man, I'm giving you a chance. Come on, redeem yourself, do something. Make me like you. Maybe she's doing that. Here's my point, though. Why would she even reach back out to this guy if she's not interested in seeing him again? Agreed. That is, I mean. Agreed. Why? <laughs> right? Some people do this just because they're bored, though. You that's know? true, that's Some true. Some people are not in it to literally be with somebody. Some people are with it to kill time. Very good. And that could be the, the issue there. You know what it is? She gave no counter offer. She just says, like, oh, like I, I like you. And then she mm -hmm. takes it back. Uh, right. well, this week is not good. And then, oh, but I'm always open to coffee. It's like, it's so easy to be like, well, how about next week? Or how about Tuesday at five? One hour over coffee, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. So, mm -hmm. I don't like it. 
No, I don't like it either, but I will tell you this. I'm very busy. A lot of people are busy. But if there's something that I want to do, I genuinely want to do, I'm going to find time for it, whether it's an hour, six hours, or a whole day. All right. Nah, yeah, absolutely. All right, now we're going to go to war story number two, ladies and gentlemen. And please call in. The number is 470 2 Five one four three four three. Uh, please do not call in. You are on the show. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna go on to the next uh, thing here. All right. So my buddy, war story number two. He sets the date. Mm -hmm. Now the girl texts to confirm the day before. A great move. It's the greatest thing to hear a girl confirm a date for the first date because you know half of them don't show up half of them cancel three to four hours beforehand so this girl confirms the day before she says hey are you still on for tomorrow and then my buddy's like 100 percent chance of definitely and so you know what she does after that what <laughs> she says could we move the date three hours earlier are you kidding? can we move the date three oh my gosh Come on. All right, all right, folks, come on. Come okay. on. Hey! Okay, so in this case, the way that we confirm would have been. <laughs> We're going to get you some help, okay? I'm going to get some sponsors to help you. Um, the way that we would have done it would have been, um, hey, um, we're still on for tomorrow, right? So how about we meet at 1 o'clock instead of 3, 4? Mm -hmm. Instead of 3, 4? 3 or 4. Well, could you, could you clarify to the viewers okay. with proper English, please? 3 dash 4. How about that one? Acceptable. Okay, very good. I like that idea. And I don't like the idea that she confirmed the date and then wants to move it three hours before. It's like, why don't you just come out Pick with, one. hey, can we reschedule to 10 a.m. or whatever it is? It's like, not, don't confirm it and then say, oh, can we move it three hours earlier? Like, I, like you don't have a life. Oh gosh. All right. Very good. So, oh, we have some comments tonight. Very good. Hello. Well, hello to you. Yes. All right, that was a great comment. Thank you. Okay. All right. Wow, what a great show Exciting. tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh okay. Hey, I have a question for you, Miss Mika. Okay. Now, I think a big part of dating initially is to get, some people want to get their interview questions out of the way, right? Yes. And I have a question, like let's say you meet somebody and they're great. First date, everything is going fantastic. And you want to pop this question on them. Are you moving soon? Do you think it's cl it's not it's considered classless to ask that? Because I mean, you would you'd be surprised how so many people you meet them and they're great, and then they're moving like two months later. Okay. So how do you approach that? Okay, I don't think even think this needs to be approached. In my personal opinion, the reason why is because if somebody is moving, that's on them to say something. Hi, I like you. Would you happen to be moving to Tennessee soon? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? That's, why, why would somebody, what you need to ask them for? You've got this. That's, whoever this, this question, I feel like if you're going to ask something like that, you have some serious trust issues. I don't know if you're, whether you're ready to even date. Are you going to move? Hey, I want to set you up a date on Saturday, but I need to know that you're going to be here two weeks from now if I like you. Okay, well, I don't like it. What do you think? I think it would be interesting if you could create a way to say, like, ask them if they're moving without asking them. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Mm, mm, mm. Right. Okay. Well, moving on. All right. Now, at this point in the show, we want to talk to you daters out there how to reword some of your questions that could potentially put off a partner, wording them into 
less aggressive phrases. So I want to start off with one. I want to ask you on this. OK, so a big thing for people, let's say you don't meet online. Let's say you meet at a bar or a club or whatever it is. You meet the person for coffee for an hour. Mm -hmm. You meet the person for coffee for an hour. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> you want to see what they're, um, if they believe in God. Now, it's, it's mm -hmm. kind of rough to just get out there and say, do you believe in God or what's mm -hmm. your religion? Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think? What do you think you should say? What are say? your spiritual beliefs? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I want to know whether they go to church every Sunday or, you know, Bible study on Wednesdays and this, that, and the other, you know, and everybody has their different opinions on whether they want somebody like that, whether they don't, whether they're lenient with it or what have you. But, I mean, it's something good to know. I agree. And whether they're, you know, just spiritual or they actually believe in this or that or what have you, without being too general, without being too, um, you know, what so, do you think? So could you give me the exact sentence you use rather than just saying uh, believe in God? Because I think I missed that <laughs> in that whole, like... Well, like I said, what are your spiritual beliefs? There we go, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. <laughs> All right. 80 minutes ago. Ready. Moving on. Okay, we got another one. So, okay, we got the belief in God covered with what are your spiritual beliefs. Correct. Much classier. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Do you live alone? How, how are you going to coat that? How are you going to cover that up? If you want to, if you if you want to figure out if somebody has roommates, lives with their parents, whatever, they live alone. How are you going to figure out? And you have a smile on your face. So it looks like you've been uh, anticipating this okay. one. Okay. Really good. Ready? No. I cooking? am now. Are you cooking for yourself tonight or for everybody? Ooh. Wow. Hey, we have a comment here. You have the best advice, Mika. <laughs> <laughs> she left out Judge Love just to be nice today. <laughs> thank you. Whoever that is, I'd like That's to thank Ashley. you. That's Miss Ashley. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Ashley. And we have uh, Moby here. Love the witness points. Wow. Right. Folks, thank you so much. Call in the show with thank your you. war stories, any questions or comments you have on dating okay. or anything else. I definitely have a war story. Could you let me give the phone number? Absolutely not. Do you even know the phone number? Okay, you know, no, I don't. Put you to read, read the just, phone number. It's on okay, the just, sheet just, in front of you. Okay, just wait a minute. It's too much pressure. Could I get a, a, another guest it's witness? 470 Could we take a commercial break? 470 251. Four three four three four seven zero two five one four three four three. Call in, and we'll be able to assist you. Thank you. You're very well. I got so we've discussed the beliefs, spiritual beliefs. Mm -hmm. Do you cook for someone, or someone else, or yourself, or someone? I like mm -hmm. that. That's really getting in there without Absolutely. getting in there. I That's really right. like that. That's right. Because now I know two things. That's, that's giving me two venues. Either A, you know, do you cook? Are you not a good cook? Do you, you know? And if you cook for everybody, who is everybody? You know, I need to know whether you have six children. I'm not ready to battle that. I just need to know. Where are they? Where yes. Are they? yes. Now, in a moment. How many? Are you, are you done? I mean, I'm, I mean, I got a little scared. A little flashback. Go ahead. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. We have a representative, Ajara Mayo, coming up momentarily. Oh. And we're excited to see what uh, mm -hmm. she's got for us today. Yeah. She's been working on some stuff all week, so we'll see what's going That's on. That's right. We are going to go to her in just a moment. Now, mm -hmm. we have uh, one more question, though. Actually, you know what? We have even more than one more. What? Because we give the users free content mm -hmm. for absolutely free. But if you would like to pay... You call in the show and you sponsor. Now, do you want children? This is a big one. Ooh. How are you going to ask that on a first date without coming off as just somebody with a checklist? Oh, take your time. I will. Take your time. Working no. on it. Um, well, I'm not really sure. However, if you would like to read the answer that I had earlier this week, that was really, really great. <laughs> right. 
whenever you get a moment. Well, I think I thought of something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you got? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know this was a joke. Was this supposed to be a joke that I missed? I think Let so. me try that again. Mm -hmm. I think I thought of something. Okay. I didn't like your tone. One more time. I think I thought of something. Oh my gosh. What is it? Thank you. Uh, do you want kids, right? Everybody yes. wants to know on the first day. They want to get that person out of there or keep them in. Here's what you say. How important is family to you? You know what? Hey! Hey! You know what? That sounds like something that I would have said earlier this week and written it down. Um, Unbelievable. I, I completely agree with myself or you. Oh, well. Oh, we got a comment here from Brittany. I remember you from middle school. Double exclamation point. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that's aggressive. Okay. You were smart then. Oh. Oh. Well, All I'm, right. I, I, I think I appreciate that. You were right. smart then. Thank you. And okay. it's nice to see what you are accomplished, dot, 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 and I cannot see any more because it will not let me open the comments. When I press mm. see more, it just mm. gives me the... The emojis. And you, press you know what? More. Thank you, Britt. As I was saying, we got another one. Some people, they go out on a date. They okay. want to know right away whether this person's like a homebody or they like to party, that sort of deal. Mm -hmm. So do you think that's an appropriate way to ask somebody is, do you party? Do you think that's no classy? Right whether this person's like a homebody or they like to party. <sighs> Wow, we are. <laughs> I was trying to figure out who that was. Ventriloquism. I was like, man, they sound familiar. Uh. Hey, come on. They're working real hard at Status Network to put food on the table. Go ahead. Do you remember the question? Slightly. OK. Um, but yes, with the homebody, yes, I would like to know. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think you forgot the question. No, I know what the question is. I okay, what was the question? All right, I didn't do good with tests in middle school. Um. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, we got a question. We got a question. We got a question from Farood. He says, how many people is Miss Mika cooking for tonight? Ooh. <laughs> Miss Mika will be cooking for two, which opens the question of who this other person is. Very interesting. Ooh. Very interesting. Well, we're that you weren't going to eat the bean burritos today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to be on the guest, you a guest on the show, the them. prerequisite is to not eat a bean burrito oh, before. Don't you dare. <laughs> Oh, no, you did. You think that was me? The Honorable <laughs> Judge Law? Listen, I have a gavel. Okay. Who is going to more All likely... Right. Okay, we're moving on. What was your answer to do your party? Yeah, I don't really like do you party um, because that, that, just, that just means so many different things. You know, do you party as in do you do drugs? Do you party as in... Do, are you an alcoholic and stay out all night and do this, that, and the other? There, there's too much. There's too many questions. Do you, you know, do you party after work every day? Are you at this bar every day to where they know you by name and your drink of choice? I, I don't like that. I don't. I don't think that that. I think that's too far from homebody and party person. You know what I mean? Don't like it. What do you think? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking? You treat me terrible. Okay. In a minute, we are going to go to our mayonnaise correspondent of the day as soon as we get the uh, heads up from HQ. And oh, oh Ajara, are you there? We're, uh, well, let's oh, go to good. Ajara live. We're going. <laughs> hey, this is great. I'm out of material.
okay. Is, is okay, see, that was good. I'm glad that, you know, I never would have thought about that point. I never would have thought about that view on that. Hey! <laughs> mm. We would like to ask for sponsors at the time so that we can have some help for our judge. Uh, mm. some serious, serious issues going on here. But continue. Go ahead. I think she was great. As I was saying, I think she had some great points. Who is she? Ajara. How did you know she was a woman? She's a jar of mayonnaise. How do you know the gender? Because. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do you know the gender of the jar of mayonnaise? Please well, be I mean, specific. it's obvious with the lid. You can look at the lid and tell. So, Go ahead, continue, because I don't have anything else to say about that. Oh, yeah, let's just continue, because this is the Mika, the guest Mika show. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is yeah. not. It yeah. is the court of love with Judge Love. That is me with our guest witness, Miss Mika. <laughs> now, remember to call into the show, 470-251-4343. Again, one more time, 470-251-4343. Right. Okay, moving right along. Now, clothing is a big issue, I think, with dating. Yes. Now, what kind of tips would you give guys for clothing? Or what do you like in a guy? Actually, better, better question. What, what attracts you in clothing on a guy? I want somebody that's, you know, I, I, first of all, do not show up to any of our gates, dates with a cummerbund on, okay? That's number one. I'm going to need you to take that off, okay? Nobody likes that but you, all right? But I want you to dress, you know, dress nice, maybe casual, put some nice jeans on, <laughs> iron them, you know, show me that you own one, you know, own an iron. Um, own an iron or a pair of jeans? <laughs> I'll just take the iron. You want know, some shorts, what have you. So if a, man, if a man does not own an iron, is that a deal breaker for you? No. No. So no. if he wears wrinkly clothes to every day, as long as he meets your physical requirements and mental requirements. Okay, all right, you're taking us a little bit too far. Well, that's why I'm a judge, okay? I have a D in psychology for a reason. Ah, oh, that is true. You earned that D. Strong D, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Thank you to our producer. Thank you, it's that is that work. Okay. Continue. So, um, but I'm gonna say, not necessarily if it's, you know, wrinkly or whatnot, but, you know, you cannot have an iron in, in you know, lay it out to where it at least looks somewhat straight in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But in regards to what I like, I like to have, um, you know, like I said, nice dress, you know, maybe a nice little little collared shirt or something. But collared shirt. Yeah, you know, every once in a while, go ahead. Okay, what do you think about this new trend with guys wearing their pants uh, halfway, oh, yeah. halfway on their bodies? Oh, the sag? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, yeah, so sag. what do you think about that sag, mm -hmm. quote unquote, by the I judge of love bringing it around town and raising the roof, y'all? You will not embarrass me like that on my Facebook page. This is my show? My Instagram will not be embarrassed by bringing it around town. Oh, you're sharing this on Instagram? What? Well, so. Hello. But no, I think that the sag, the sag is very, I think it's, I think it's going to be a little cute. Yeah. Okay, I got another question. How many apostrophes are in the sag? Is it it's one? It's one. It's a strong one. <sighs> well, that was very important. Now, we have a comment from Ashley. It says, don't accept any more blizzards, Mika. Could you, what does that mean? Is that inappropriate? Hey! Is that inappropriate? All right, side note, Ashley, I'll get you later. Okay, um, yeah. All Is right. that bad? It was, it was a dating experience, yes. Wait, do you know Ashley? Yes, I do. Oh! I didn't know who Ashley was until you said that. But oh. now I didn't know who Miss Ashley is, and Miss Ashley is awesome, and she will... Hold on a second. She'll be reprimanded. Is blizzards a very common uh, slur in any way? No, it's a blizzard. It's from, 
D Ju. You know D D Q D. D Ju. <laughs> You know we're live? D, D, so you can leave your slurs D, D. at home. Thank you. Don't do me like that. I'm at DQ, okay? It's from, you know. No, excuse me. So since it's out, since the story is there, we're talking about horror stories from, from dating anyway. This will be a great one. Went out with somebody. He got me a, um, he took me to Dairy Queen to get some wow, ice cream. very fancy. It was, <laughs> And, you know, at this point, I'm just thinking this is, you know, where I'm going somewhere with my friend. I was not under the assumption that this was a date. I was not asked out, okay? So we get there. I'm ready to pay for my own stuff, you know? He was like, no, I got it. I was like, okay. So he passes me my Oreo Blizzard, and the whole time he's staring at me. The whole time. And you know, so I'm just like, okay, it's a little bit weird. So I eat it, finish up my blizzard. He belongs to me. What do you mean? You're mine now. You've accepted my gift. Wow. Uh, more importantly, so did he have a blizzard as well? He did. Did he pay for yours as well? Yes. Did he pick you up? No. Where, okay, what time of day was it? During the day? It was 4.38 p.m. <sighs> Tuesday afternoon? No, it was on a Friday. Friday at 4.38 p.m. You sat in traffic for how long? 36 minutes. Okay, how far was it from your house? 36 minutes. I find it hard to believe that the DQ I is 36. I don't know. Well, this is this what the like, viewers pay for. This was like eight years ago. How long was this? I don't know. Ashley, Why are you how long asking me? This? this was, I don't know. What year is it? 2018? Maybe 2015, uh, 16? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this Whatever. is why it's so important to be very detail-oriented when it comes to dating. Please. And relationships. I agree. I agree. And if the Oreo means that she belongs to you, let her know in advance, please, before the Oreo has been consumed. <laughs> Okay, so did you think that was a good idea for a first date, a blizzard, or what were you I didn't know about? I was on one. Wait, Wait, so hold on, let's back I it up. I had no idea. Let's back it up, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna back it up, and we are gonna bring it around town. Okay. We are going to raise the roof, y'all. Oh my God, oh my up God. Up in here. Oh my God. Y'all going this... to make me act okay, a okay, fool. Okay, so, all right, go ahead. I forgot what the question was. Um, so, we're talking about the lines on the first date. You know, like I said, I did not know I was on a first date. It was not, hello, Miss Mika, would you like to go out with me to have refreshments? So then you just met him there? I forgot, I missed the story. Well, I mean, well, I mean, he asked me if I wanted to go get some ice cream and I was like, yeah. How do you know this guy though? A friend of a friend. Okay, but how did he contact you? Facebook, call, it's email? Probably Facebook Messenger. Okay, and he said, let's go get ice cream. Uh-huh. And when did he let you know? Did he tell you a day in advance or it was like on no, the day of? It was like the day of. The day of. How much no. time did he give you to get ready? Oh, my God. This is important stuff. I want to know what he did wrong. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous, man. I mean, I feel like I'm on the witness stand. Oh. Well. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, I mean, this was like three, four years ago, as I stated previously, for the record. That wasn't the question. The question was, when did he ask you? He asked me that morning. I agreed okay. to that morning, and I drove over there that afternoon. But this was my friend. I thought I was going to have no, 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 friend. no, no. This was a friend of a friend. Remember? Let's go back. All right. Am I wrong, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. This was a. This was. Uh, I don't think so. Oh my God. This was a friend of a friend. This was a friend of a friend. That now, I was gonna have ice cream with. What is wrong with ice cream? I, we are getting some information from uh, our correspondent. I think uh, a jar of mayo you know is going to be back yes. soon. Yes. Well, well, we'll have to stick. We'll, we'll keep our ears peeled. Because I know she's got my back. She, and I don't know how she, you know her gender. Because she's got a top on. They weren't supposed to know that. A lid? It's called a lid. It's a top. You get turny, turny. 
What about you? What do you know? Got my ice cream stories out here. Tell me oh. about, tell the viewers about your ice cream. That's right, viewers. You call in and you tell us about your dating stories because Judge Love is perfect and you know that. 470 251 Four, three, four, three. Oh, you need it again? Four, seven, oh, two, five, one, four, three, four, three. And we are going to raise the roof up in here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, up in here. Oh, my God. Thank you very much. This is like being on the show with your dad or something. You know that uncle that still wears the shorts? They're like way up here, you know? You, just, would you just, no, just I don't know. Would I, you stop it? Hey! Then to stop that. Oh my goodness. So we've gone through clothing, we've gone through rewording questions, mm -hmm. and we've gone through moving soon, but you didn't like that question. Excuse mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. the Mika show, excuse me. That part. And we've done our war stories. So, now, what do you think about people that travel? Do you think they're good candidates for dating? I mean, you know, you have to be ready for that. You have to, I, mean, I personally wouldn't date somebody that's traveling right now. You know, I, I need to, I need somebody that's there. I can be slightly needy. No, but see, I mean, I don't want to date somebody that's going to be here on Tuesday and then they're gone every other day of the week. I don't I mean, come on, you know, you want somebody that you can, you know, talk to and know that they're going to be an active part of the right. dating process. So what, what do you think? Well, I agree. You know, I don't want somebody that's going to be traveling constantly. Like every, some people, they travel every two weeks and I don't understand what kind of job they have that lets them do that. Yeah. And I understand there are certain jobs that let you do that, but it seems like it's an apparently large number of people that are doing this. Mm -hmm. I mean, so what would, like, let's say somebody travels every two weeks, but they are your ideal match. For how long? Ooh. Uh, I'd say one year. They, uh, put hey, they just got a promotion. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not traveling for a year every two weeks, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's what you just said. How long are they gone every two weeks? Okay, every two weeks, because now we're going to hit the table with my expensive judge podium thing. Yeah. That's coming out of your paycheck. What uh, paycheck? <laughs> you don't think I make money? I know that we do. Go ahead. We make a lot of money on this show. As I was saying, uh, what was the question? Uh, traveling, yeah. Let's say they travel for three days every two weeks. But the three days they leave is the only three days that you can have a date with them. Oh my gosh. And they're perfect, ideal. Welcome to the show, Christian. Are they, they're perfect, ideal? I'm sorry? Who else is in here? What? Okay. Who, how? There are, there is a studio audience you in here. You know what? You know what? They, oh, just let's just there. ignore the studio audience. Yeah, I can't do that. Nope. Disgusting. Nope. There are other people in this room. I can see them. What was your what were you talking about though? We were talking about traveling. Yeah. Every two weeks they travel Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Those are the only three dates that you can date them. You could maybe put some time in there uh -huh. during the week, but you have to sacrifice a lot. Okay. Would you do that if they're perfect? Would I make sacrifices for them? Absolutely. I would. Um how long have we been dating? Uh, Ooh, where's my sound effects? This is not Thank a sound you. effect. This is a live studio audience. Please, you will be dismissed. Sir, sound effects. You face. will be dismissed from the courtroom, which is also real. Okay. I don't see what was funny about that. Mm -hmm. The courtroom is real. Okay. The courtroom is real. Uh, we have Mr. Christian says, what up, my dog? Well, thank you. Thank you for watching, everybody. What were we talking about? We were talking about something. Oh, uh, traveling. Tra <laughs> we keep getting distracted. Strong we as in you. Psychology, y'all. 
I think that he deserved better. Hey. Traveling, okay, let's say you've been dating them for uh, three months. And this just came up? And it just came up that they have to travel every two weeks for three days for the next year. I'm okay with that. But you can only see them an hour a week. No, no, not an hour a week. You can only see them an hour every two weeks. Why an hour? And... Go ahead. He's and... You don't hey! get any. And you have to pay for all of the dates. <sighs> oh, the answer, that's right. No, I'm sorry. I'd rather say. But he's perfect. He looks exactly like Judge Love. <clears throat> okay, so the answer is no. I would not continue to date them like that. <laughs> but I would love to have you as my friend. Ooh, the friend Ooh. word. Ooh, I love the friend word. Oh, it is friend. so is, great. There's so much stigma on this Isn't friend like, word. Oh, people use it on the first date. They say, hey, I I think we're going to be real good friends. Right. And then they never pick up the phone of again. Like, you put me in the friend zone box. I don't want to hey, be you know here. I love, yeah. I, hey, ladies and gentlemen, come on. I love how they want to be friends after you pay for everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me, Chad. Chad, call in the show. Come on. Give these people some advice on dating and relationships. The phone number is 470-251-4343. Just make it blatant that we're reading it. Could you not interrupt me when I'm trying to give the viewers the content that they so rightfully deserve? Don't hey! I'm not trying to be... Go ahead. Huh. Now you may speak. <laughs> All right. So, so we talked about traveling. Yeah. Did, um, we, did we come to a conclusion? Yeah. Or? The answer for me is going to be no. Um, only being in a in a real scenario, I could deal with it with the with the the stipulations that have been added. You know, one hour every two weeks. And you have to pay for it. And I got to pay for all of them. I'm going to have to say no. But if it was just that you travel every two weeks for three days, I can handle that. There you go. Okay, nice. Moving on. Do you prefer, do you think there's a difference between having a day date versus a night date? Oh, good question. Absolutely. What do you think? I am the host of the show. Okay, you know what? I do. I absolutely do. I think it's a... Um, I apologize that I'm the one being interrogated here. I apologize. So, Come on. yes. I think that it's a definitely a difference. When I think of a day date, I think of more of like a friendship thing. Um, when there's a night date, there's... Did you just... What, what happened? Did y'all see that? What happened? Do you see me get like blacker than black? Did you see that? <laughs> Look like your robe over there. Did you see that? Okay. Could you answer the question? I did. Good God. Jeez. It's hard to find good help. Is it really? <laughs> so. Could you answer the question? <laughs> I did. For the viewers? I did. I did. Whatever it was, I know I answered it. It was about day dates. Yeah, and yeah, night yeah. Dates. I answered that. You said friendship. Okay, what about night? Hey, we got a caller. I'm almost terrified. This is the Court of Love with Judge Love. Please state your name for the record. This is Barry. Hey, Barry, welcome to the show. Hey, Barry. Hey, Judge Love, thanks for having me. You're live with Judge Love and Mika, buddy. You got a question on dating or relationships? Um, just a general question. What's the key? What would you say is the key to a successful relationship? Very good question. Very good question. I think humor and flexibility are the biggest factors in a relationship. You have to be able to give and take and you have to be funny about everything, man. You got to make everything into a lighthearted situation. And some people will get rid of you when you make a joke about everything. There are certain times like at a funeral where you kind of want to refrain from making jokes, but I think that humor, 
What was the other thing I said? Humor and... Uh, flexibility. Flexibility. Yeah, flexibility, <laughs> give and take is important. I don't want to... Look, I'm not a walking wallet, Barry. You know what I mean? I don't want to be paying for all the dates. I don't want to be... I don't want to be planning everything. Uh, it should be both ways. There should be give and take in every scenario. So I think those are uh, the two important factors. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. That, that sounds good to me. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Judge Love. Thanks so much for All the right. call, buddy. Talk See to you, you next week. Case dismissed. Case dismissed. Okay. Do you, you like my sync. audio? You got to be in sync on that. I like in sync. Okay. Well, I know. okay? You have a problem with me liking NSYNC and not the Backstreet Boys as much? Okay. This is... <laughs> NSYNC, if you would like to be on the show, please give us a call at 470... Please fit all five, five. right here. Could I give the phone number? At 470-251-4343. We look forward to your phone call that you will be making because we are a show and you are a boy band. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, gone through our questions, day dates or night dates. Now we are, I promise you, we are going to get our correspondent on the phone as soon as we get, get it, the thumbs up from HQ. Um, our, our brother mm -hmm. and sister, because we do not know the gender of a jar of mayonnaise, but mm -hmm. we, we are telling you. Mm -hmm. It's, hey, it's oh my gosh, ready. hey! A jar, a jar of mayonnaise, are you there? job I I don't know she's been having problems with her husband but she said she I quit her oh we are back um Ajara thank you for that um interpretive dance yes that was yes very interpretive dance um we appreciate okay well, <clears throat> so all right do you have a dating horror story huh. you would like um, us to share that other than that <laughs> yes I do have a Sure, I can be put on the spot to come up with a dating horror story. Hold on a second. Problem. Welcome, Jonathan. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please. Okay, let's see. Dating horror story. All right, ladies. So you know how you have that guy that you dated forever, and then, you know, you finally, you know, it's done, all right? And then you end up going on a date with him. Let me tell you what happened on mine. So I went on a date. He paid me to pick me up. We're on our way to a restaurant. We're just having a conversation in the car. Next thing you know, he got really dull with the conversation. And he goes from driving in this lane to that one over there. I'm like, what are you doing? car's not mine. What do you mean the car's not mine? What are you talking about? It was this girl that I was dating. What? Ooh. What girl? What are you talking about? Yeah, long story short, excuse me, long story short, he got pulled over and got arrested on our date. Now that is not a sign That's a dating horror story right there. I was like, sir, if you can take me back to either one of my vehicles that are paid for with my name on it. Had to go ahead and get him to drop, him off, drop me off, like, you know, way down the block and around the corner so nobody saw me go to the house, you know, out of a police car. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, don't take me to my house. Just drop me off here. I'll walk. Yep. <laughs> Did, so did he get jail time or what? I don't know. Oh, have, excuse me I mean, for asking. Sure I thought we were going to have all the details before we agreed to do the right. show. So, yes, I am sure that he did get some jail time. Um, that wasn't my question. My question was how much jail time did he get? I will have to call and ask, although I won't because I don't keep up with him. 
No riffraff in the courtroom. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know. I want to say maybe. I, I. I don't know. I have no idea. All I know that he is not um, anywhere in the circle of Miss Mika. I think that's definitely a prerequisite. Uh, prerequisite for well, not pre having. Pre requisite. <laughs> get a sponsor to get this one some help that would be great i don't need any help uh, you know what i do need help removing this guest from the show <laughs> no but really oh God, it's always yeah. great to have you on the show it's really fun um because i can interrupt you and it's fun to do that you treat me terribly well that's why you keep coming back to the show i agree so all right. Well, we are just about going to wrap up the night, ladies and gentlemen. Aw. Oh, is that going to change how things are going? Because you say, aw. It think, is, because this is not right. It's like, not, I want to talk forever. This is just not. Oh. Well, okay. So, hey. You don't have a minute because we have to leave in 38 seconds. <laughs> okay? Unless yeah. you... No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. So if you would like to appear as a guest on the Court of Love show, mm -hmm. please send us an email. Please send us an email. Oh, OK. I know what that is. At courtofloveshow at gmail.com. Did you do it? Well, not that quick. Well, how do you know they're not that quick? Because I'm they quick. don't have a strong D in psychology and can type that fast. That is very true. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you so much for... for <sighs> My name is Miss Mika. You know what? I'm just going to leave. I just don't have to. You know, this is just... Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in next week. Thank for the you. Of love. Oh, wait a minute. We have one more phone call. <laughs> we have one more phone call. This is Judge Love with the Court of Law. Please state your name or alias for the record. Chad Blackwell. What's going on, bud? You got a question on dating or a comment? Oh, I just saw you had about 30 seconds left. and figured I'd fill some time by calling in. Excellent, man. Well, I got a question for you. What can a, a guy do to improve his chances with a good woman? Mm. What could he do? Well, nowadays, it might be a little bit more advanced than it used to be where you could take her out to a movie or uh, things like that. But nowadays, you got to impress them in a creative way, like grilling some really good food, which is what I'm doing right now. Excellent, man. Does he have a smoker? Do you have a smoker? I am smoking some pork shoulder right oh, now. Oh, we are coming oh, over right now. Cut. All right, buddy. Hey, man, thanks yeah. so much for the call and supporting the show. We got to go, but please call us in next week. All right, bud? Hey, Chad? All right, man. All right, bud. Good talking to you. Have a good one. Nice smoke. You too. Case dismissed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Court of love. We are out.